why are so many advertisers in Google Ads not sure if their account is actually working for them? Well, one of the foundational elements of having a good Google Ads account is proper conversion tracking. It's extremely hard to find out if your advertisements are working well if you don't know if they're driving sales or leads. But what if I told you that most advertisers, even if they have conversion tracking set up, don't understand how it's actually working behind the scenes. In Google Ads, there's different attribution methods that you could use that helps you determine which advertisement or which campaign gets the credit for that conversion. The two main attribution settings in Google Ads are last click attribution and data driven attribution. Last click attribution gives 100% of the credit to that final ad click in the process. So let's say for example that someone was searching online and they clicked three advertisements in a week and on that final ad click they ended up making a purchase on a website. Well if you have your Google Ads account set to last click attribution that third and final click would receive 100% percent of that credit clicks one and two wouldn't get anything last click attribution can be good for those advertisers that want a simple method that's easy to understand and maybe you have a short sales cycle so for example maybe people make purchases in within one or two days after they click your advertisement the main con for last click attribution is any of the previous ad clicks that led to that conversion get 0% credit. And those clicks might have been very important in that customer's journey to make a purchase. So over the past couple of years, Google has made a big push to migrate advertisers away from last click attribution to data-driven attribution. So your next question might be, well, what is data-driven attribution? Google touts data-driven attribution as their most advanced, and now it's actually their default attribution model. It uses machine learning to analyze all of your conversion data, including clicks, to determine how much credit each ad interaction actually contributed to the conversion. So going back to that previous example that we used with last click attribution, if there were three ad clicks that led to the conversion, Google might determine that that first click should actually receive 25% of the credit, the second click should receive 25% of the credit, and that third click should receive 50% of the credit. So you can see how that's different from last click because in last click in that example, the third and final click received 100% of the credit. Now it is a bit of a black box for how Google determines the weight that each of the ad clicks get in terms of the percentage that they receive. And if you only receive a low number of conversions, data-driven attribution is not going to be a good fit for you. Google recommends that you have over 200 conversions in 2000 ad interactions within a 30 day period. So for a lot of small businesses, data-driven attribution, at least at this point in time, isn't in the cards. So which one do I recommend? Well, if you are above that 200 conversion level and that 2000 ad interaction level that I mentioned before, I find that the difference between the data-driven attribution and the last click attribution, it's not a ridiculously high number. In other words, I gained some insights into some of those campaign types that might be more top of funnel, but are important to the conversion process. But I actually think that Google does a good job in keeping the comparison apples to apples instead of apples to oranges. Now, if you're a small business or a new Google Ads account that and you're just getting started, stick with last click attribution while it's still available. And so now let's hop into a screen share where I'll show you where you can actually compare the two attribution settings directly in Google Ads. Okay, so if you want to see which of your conversion goals are actually running data-driven attribution, what you need to do is select goals, and then underneath measurement, you'll see attribution. Select that, and then you'll see this screen right here. Select switch to DDA, and that will give you a status update of all of your different conversions and the attribution model that each of them have. So you can see if you're currently running DDA or data-driven attribution, and you can also see the conversion goals if they're not eligible to run DDA. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you have to have a significant number of conversions and clicks to be able to run DDA. And I may have thrown shade at Google over the years for lack of transparency, especially in campaign types like Performance Max. However, they are starting to be more transparent there, but I think that they are actually very transparent in this model comparison tool. So you can filter by different dimensions. So right now I've got it on campaign type, but you can actually select campaign or even ad group or even keyword if you want. And it gives you a simple table that shows how many conversions that 
campaign type had on last click and how many conversions that campaign type would have had on data driven. And so you can see in this account, the change from data driven attribution to last click, it's not a material amount. On the search campaigns, it's a minus 0.23% difference and then on display, it's 0.22% different. So in summary, the two attribution settings in Google Ads are data-driven attribution and last-click attribution. If you receive a lot of conversions per month, I think that data-driven attribution would be a net positive for you. But if you're a small business or if you're just getting started and you don't have a lot of data or conversion information in Google Ads, stick with last-click attribution. Hey friends, if you want some more money saving tips inside of Google ads, make sure to grab my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet and I'll leave a link in the description below. Take care.